This is Aaron Chiro. I'm here in San Jose at the Strike Force Wayans with Gina Carano's Muay Thai instructor, Sean Tompkins. Sean, give us your prediction for the fight tomorrow. Well, I'm going to have to stay with my girl, Gina. I think we're looking at a knockout probably in the third round. You know, it is a title fight. Uh, Gina's in great shape, as is Cyborg. And uh, I think as long as Gina can weather the storm for the first two and a half minutes, we're going to take her. You have another fighter on the card tomorrow night, Jay Heron. His opponent, Nick Diaz, unfortunately had to withdraw. Now he's facing uh, Jesse Money Taylor. Give us a little bit of insight into that fight. Well, I mean, it's been an emotional roller coaster for us with Jay. I mean, we had the Affliction show of, uh, fell apart on us. Then we're going to fight for the title here. Now we're fighting on the undercard against Jesse Taylor. So, I mean, a contrast of styles and three different types of fighters. But Jay's cool as, cool as ice, man. He's one of the most well-rounded fighters out there. And we're just, just looking for a break, man. He's got to go out there and prove himself tomorrow, and I think he will. What has been your most painful moment or injury in MMA? Oh, geez, that it had to be something to do with partying with Boss Root, man. Godspeed and party on. <laughs> it's an MMA event, but I'm, I'm sure it has something to do with maybe a hangover the next day. In terms of these guys going through so much in the gym, then they get to fight having their hand raised, going through that glory. What do they feel when they're going through that process? What kind of glory are they overwhelmed with? Well, you, people forget sometimes all the hard work that they put into this and the, the sacrifices, you know, the, the dieting, the, the, the being away from their families, things like that. So, you know, at that moment of victory, I mean, it's second to nothing because all those sacrifices, they, they are knowing that they're going to be, you know, they're being paid back for and they actually get to, to get the rewards of all that hard work. Okay, last question. Your calves are huge. Gina's calves are pretty close in comparison, though. Is it a requirement to have huge calves to be trained under Sean Tompkins? I'd have to say it's probably a kickboxing thing, you know. Gina and I have both been training in Thai boxing for many years since we were little kids, and probably a lot of bouncing up and down and moving around and kicking and kneeing things. So her calves aren't close to as big as mine. No, come on. <laughs> She's beautiful. I'm not. <laughs> well, this is Aaron True live in San Jose at the Wayans with one of the top trainers in the world, Sean Tompkins from Extreme Couture. Sean, thank you very much. Thanks for having me, guys.